Welcome and thank you for joining us today. We're Derps and Burps, the podcast for all gamers, spiritual souls, and creative minds out there. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Derps and Burps podcast. We can say that for the first time because we already finished our first episode. This is our second. If you haven't heard the first one yet, you should you should listen to the first one so you know who we are. Um, if you're here for the second one, first of all, thank you, and we hope you enjoyed our first one. Um, and yeah, today we're here with a new topic, um, a topic that might be a little bit controversial because we know that we have a lot of followers that are from Germany, that are from Austria, they're from Switzerland, that are speaking German. Um, so yeah, the topic today is the reason we stream in English and not German or short, the reason why we're streaming in, in blah, 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 why we're streaming in why we stream in english i'm sorry excuse me there we go <laughs> steffi take over i can't talk anymore <laughs> so the reason why we stream in english and not in german guys there's many 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 reasons pros and cons for both sides and we try to cover all of them tell us about our experience about uh, when we streamed in German, or if we ever streamed in German, when did we start? Why did we start in English? Why did we start with English streams? Um, there's many, many, many options, many possibilities, and as I said, many pros and cons for both sides, and that's sure. what we want to talk about today. Exactly, and also talk about, especially our point of views, why we both decided against being part of the German-speaking Twitch community, which obviously... A lot of people uh, question us pretty often why we would do such a thing. Um, but we're here. I, I think both of us get those questions pretty often in the stream. Is mm -hmm. it for you still the thing that people ask mm -hmm. you in the stream? Often like, hey, Steffi, aren't you Austrian? Isn't your main language German? Why are you not German, uh, streaming in German? Uh, very, very rarely, to be honest. Gladly. Gladly. Because okay. people are, most of the people understand English, um, are fine with English content because it's for everyone everyone or m almost everyone understands it so mm -hmm. you reach more people etc cetera, etc cetera. but that's what we want to talk about today right? exactly so I'm not, exactly i'm not i'm not, I'm not also i just now. i know steffi you cannot see it right now but the the people and obviously also the people on on spotify cannot see but they can hear let me tell you steffi and me are sitting here again with cups of coffee and i uh got out of my out of my uh 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 shelf i got the cringiest most boomer mug i could find it is a really uh it's a white one and it says on it good morning sunshine oh my god <laughs> cringe mug this mug screams you're 30 plus and all you get for your birthdays is mugs with cringy lettering on it and i love it <laughs> So anyway, I'm sorry, I'm already uh, g getting off topic. Topic. So um, let's start it a little bit light, right? Um, for for I think the, I think the first thing we should talk about, and a question I think that both of us get, um, is when we first started streaming, right? Did we start mm -hmm. streaming in English or in German, Steffi? With what did you start? Uh, wow. Did I start with? I always was bilingual i think mm -hmm. um it depended of course like i talked german as well but i always like played the games in english mm -hmm. i had the games in english all the like since i can think or since i started playing on pc because i don't know if you listened to the first episode but i didn't have my own pc for a very long time I uh, started streaming on my boyfriend's PC back in the days. So I had my own PC. When I started streaming, I started playing every game in English. And I think I also I started League of Legends in German back in the days, but then swapped to English. Um, so I guess I guess I was bilingual in the beginning as well. But it depended on the people in my chat because obviously when I started, like I just turned it on and tried to find or like have like people to talk. And when there was someone in my chat saying hello and was starting like to talk in German, I obviously replied in German. Um, still do that today, but I prefer mainly English. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I start. It, I didn't start like German only. It was always depending on um, whether the person in the chat spoke English or German. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. for me, for me, it was the, the opposite actually. 
like um mm -hmm. i have to say when i started playing video games like obviously like it's depending from which country you are i know that a lot of nordic countries you don't even have dubbed movies right so you mm -hmm. only have them with, sub with with subtitles so for the people that don't know if you live in germany if you live in austria if you live in switzerland or any german-speaking country we are being catered to getting every piece of content basically in our own language so it doesn't matter if you watch uh, the newest the witcher season or um if you play video games we have everything um dubbed so imagine watching a movie and we basically get raced with the actors not matching their lips with what they're actually saying but I have to say, we have very, very good and great German voice actors as well. For sure, for so, sure, 100%, yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, I, I really have to agree with Steffi on that. Um, I've seen some some other languages that were horrible. So most of them are pretty mm. high quality and they sometimes even try, I think, I, I'm, I might be wrong, but I think they even sometimes try to adjust uh, the pace and the the wording of certain sentences mm -hmm. to fit it to the the lips so it sinks better um yeah. not 100 percent sure but i think i saw a documentary about that once um anywho so we are being catered to when when we grow up with getting everything basically in german so that's also why i think still some people from german-speaking countries are sometimes a little bit distant to actually being fluent and speaking english a mm -hmm. lot um then again we have a really good school system so we we all um i don't honestly know how it's now but if i think about when do we start having english in the first year Decade. of <laughs> decades ago <laughs> no but i think it's the first year of uh gymnasium or like uh middle school that we i had English you had it in earlier kindergarten or you had it in kindergarten my little brother too actually like I, I i remember my little brother was in kindergarten and they were playing memory like you know the yeah. game memory where you have to like look which pictures are under the yeah, under yeah. the cards and i remember yeah, he was ones. exactly he was learning like the the like bunny or rabbit chair car uh in english like that in kindergarten so i sadly didn't have that i think i started english with um when i was like 10 or 11 i don't think we had it in volksschule in the volksschule i don't think we had english primary, I'm not primary elementary primary school? elementary school so like the first yeah. four years i think we didn't have it because the first make sure that we can actually do math and read <laughs> yeah. but um yeah like i think i started learning english when i was like 10 or 11 and um from that on i think when i started playing world of warcraft i still had everything in german leak i think it installed it automatically in english because i can never rem uh, remember even the german name something like um what is it called like Blutdürster. <laughs> Blutdürster. Mm. or a needlessly large rot what how would that no even idea. be called in english Unnütz großer stab i don't know I, like I it would know. i have no idea <laughs> so i think leak i always played i think leak is where it started where i just still now if i play video games and there's something in german like i cringe a little bit because it doesn't feel right for me and it's weird yeah yeah but anyway to get back to the topic because i'm sorry i'm already <laughs> getting getting off uh track again uh when i started streaming i actually started streaming in um german uh because the people that got me into into uh streaming were actually german speaking friends so it was first a, a guy that i used to play league of legends with that was a real life friend of mine austrian dude i have to say i always uh, consumed streams in english though i don't think mm -hmm. i ever watched really somebody that's a a, a german streamer like i i started with phantom lord uh lyric soda pop in and then all the the league of legends pros those were like the first people that that i would uh, always watch and um so yeah when i played with my friends and i also had a good friend from uh germany actually started streaming at the same time as me uh that we're sadly not friends anymore <laughs> also mm. fun story um but yeah we started streaming at the same time and i think we both started in german 
um my english was pretty decent i guess i mean obviously not as good as now like if you want i still have some really old youtube videos on on my channel that are so cringe like if i see it now i i oh every hair in my body is standing up and i feel horrible but anyway uh, i think it was pretty decent uh for my age and for how much i talked and i think obviously on twitch back then um there was not that many girls yet so we got a lot of new people coming even though our titles were in german and they were sometimes asking us questions in english so i think i was always already mixing in the english from the beginning mm -hmm. uh but i think after like a week or two i already completely switched to english um okay i think i think it was like it was like n not even a month like something between maximum maximum two weeks that I streamed in german and then i instantly swapped to english because there was just so much demand for it there were so many people mm -hmm. coming in asking me questions that for me it was kind of like the logical thing lo yeah. the logical move to be like everybody is asking me stuff in english anyway and in my mind right i i know i was maybe a little bit uh how do you say it uh uh uh, uh not delusional but like I don't know, had maybe the, the wrong mindset, but in my head, everybody would understand English anyway. So mm. why not talk English, right? So everybody can understand me. That was that was my way of thinking. And so I think after like two weeks, I, I switched to only streaming uh, in English and have not changed since. That's crazy because that was like the complete opposite for me because in the beginning I had more German speaking people than English speaking people okay but still like mix the languages but if I remember correctly and if I think of the games I played back then I spoke more German as well because I was playing with Ben and other friends like from Austria so mm -hmm. we we talked more German mm -hmm. um than English and after I think it was then it took me one and a half or two years Mm -hmm. um and i think at that time we we talked about it as well um I think so because that topic comes up so often when we talk yeah or when we have like our chats um <laughs> german community english community blah 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 mm -hmm. and then i can't wait to get after, into that mm -hmm, <laughs> um and after those two i guess it took me two years to then decide that i completely wanna stream in english mm -hmm. like a hundred percent but obviously like when someone asks me in german in my chat i answer in german but my content is english only yeah uh, yeah um do you now a question from my side which i know the answer to for me but so i lost or not lost but like i kind of pissed off some friends uh when i was like you know they, they would ask me like hey can we play and i'm like sure we can play i'm streaming though uh so do you know and i'm talking english on my stream i hope that's fine for you right and they would be like wow but you know we always used to stream uh or play video games together and it was fine to speak uh german and now that you're streaming you have to talk english and they get kind of pissed off about it i i just know for myself like i had a few friends that that didn't want to play with me because of that i mean i get it don't get me wrong like i know that there's some people that are uh you know a little bit shy about speaking mm. another language they're maybe not perfect in even though obviously it's not a big deal like we're all on the internet like yeah. we don't care if your your grammar is perfect if your pronunciation is perfect it's all about just you know having communication right and it's getting better yeah. the more you do it um but anyway like i i i think i lost a few friends because of that because I decided that I want to speak English on stream. I wouldn't say friends. I for sure lost viewers because mm -hmm. or some people like stopped talking um, as much as they used to before because they didn't feel comfortable enough, as you said, like because mm -hmm. they're shy or they feel like their English is not good enough or anything. And I always keep saying it doesn't matter at all. As long as I understand what you're trying to tell me or if it's if you really can't like describe it in English right now, feel free to write it in German and I translate exactly. it for everyone then. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I figured or what I experienced is more like I my friends don't mind, for example, like my best friend, Ben, Mm -hmm. um or my boyfriend max he doesn't mind but i know as well like max is not really a person that likes to be in front of the camera or like with the streaming stuff he's 
he he's trying it out every now and then, but he's mm -hmm. not really the pr he 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 prefers to stay behind the scenes, right? Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't he's not the one that wants to, or would like to play a lot on stream. He rather plays off stream with me. Mm -hmm. Um but I think that's just more like a comfortable thing because he's he he simply doesn't like to be no in the spotlight, even though he's not when we play, but he's still on stream and everything. Of course. So some yeah. people don't like that, right? Mm -hmm. um but for me it's more i i saw it in my chat because as i said people felt like their english was too bad or mm -hmm. everyone was talking in english and some people don't understand understand it that much or that good aren't that good with english so they felt like <clears throat> i don't know they just couldn't express themselves anymore in my chat so they stopped yeah. writing that much and went into work mode i'd say mm -hmm. instead of taking part of the conversations or yeah. the discussions we have or had mm -hmm. that's I get, what i experienced yeah. yeah i get that i get that a lot as well um but i also think it's really nice um when people get kind of out of their shell like mm -hmm. that's also something that i think we both experienced with like mutual friends that are in, in the beginning like super like shy and they don't want to talk doesn't matter if it's like the language per se or just being on stream and playing with somebody on stream because i get it like obviously like you you're you're under pressure people watch your gameplay people people uh you know pay attention yep. on what you're saying etc cetera, etc cetera. and it's always really really nice doesn't matter if it's the language or again shyness that they overcome and once they come out of the shell and actually start you know, becoming that person that you are, uh, that they are with you when you're not mm -hmm. streaming. I think because for me, like, obviously, sometimes, like, it's always this back and forth between, you know, you don't want to push people too far out of their comfort zone if they don't want it. And I never do that. Yeah. Um, But for example, one of the big biggest examples is Zazu, right? So... Mm -hmm. Um, I remember when I used to play Zazu, our friend, um, you can find him also on Twitch, Untalented is his name. And I always just used to play games with him. And first he was a little bit shy, then he came out of his, his shell, and he's literally one of the funniest persons mm -hmm. I know. And mm -hmm. uh, don't get me wrong, for me it's just like, he's such a good friend and such a funny person that I want the whole world to get a piece of that, right? Yeah. That everybody can experience that humor and that funny person to have them in their life and that's what what i sometimes struggled with with friends you know that i'm like dude you're such a cool person you're such an amazing friend you're such a good player whatever it is right you have this one special thing about you and the only reason i try to push you in that direction is because i want everybody to know how great you are yeah so it's like you see the potential and you yes. want them to succeed exactly exactly <laughs> yeah exactly so so yeah that that that's the main thing um but yeah to come a little bit back on the track right uh to to stay with the language part and let's not rave too much about how awesome our friends uh are because obviously uh, we also hope that in the future we're gonna have some guests here on the podcast and we're gonna be able to introduce you to some of those friends or personalities that we love to share with the world and bring out there um but anyway so let's talk about uh steffi you said you were kind of streaming more german and english in the past right mm -hmm. and then you switched back to or uh, you switched to being just english and mm -hmm. for me it was kind of the opposite right so or like i two weeks but that doesn't really count then i just yeah. streamed uh solely in in english and then because I think still to this day, if I check my statistics, I have around 40 to 50 percent of my followers on every platform. Doesn't matter if it's Twitch, if it's Instagram, whatever it is. I always have around 50 percent German speaking people. So I was like, you know what, you know, just on a business level uh, uh, talking. And obviously also because there's a lot of people that always ask stuff in German in my chat. And again, it's not forbidden in case you don't know till this day, my my chat and my stream is always bilingual so if you ask me something in english i'll answer you in english if you ask me something in german i usually answer in german unless i think it's like a specific question that could be interesting for multiple mm -hmm. people right um yeah. then i usually will repeat the question in english 
and then answer it in English. But usually, you know, depending which language you ask, I will answer you in that language. And anyway, for me, I felt like there was a, a huge demand in people uh, wanting to hear me talk German and also a lot of people that didn't realize in the beginning that my main language was English. I uh, was German. So um, they would be like, okay, yeah, you have an accent, but sometimes people can't really tell where my accent is from. Um, so they're, they're like, like, not sure what my language is. And then when I find out that it's German, right, that I'm Austrian, um, they're like, oh my God, can you say something in German? So my <laughs> thoughts were, you know what we could do? We could invent Der Deutsche Dienstag. DDD, the German Tuesday, basically. Um, and I started a, a journey <laughs> that uh, ended up sadly not not that great. So uh, for the people that don't know, I many, many years ago by now, I think it's four or five years ago now, maybe even longer. I don't really remember. Um, I used to have one day a week where I would stream in German. And that's also one of the, the big reasons why we have so many discussions about it because firsthand I could experience the huge difference between the communities online. Like again, everything that we're going to be saying about certain communities, languages, whatever it is, please, please keep in mind that we don't mean everybody in this community. Okay. If I say something, you know, I have the experience with the German uh, community that is this and that way. I don't mean every single person. Please don't right. feel attacked or anything. That is just um, some experiences I had. So anyway, um, when I started doing those German Tuesdays, uh, first it went really good. Like I had more viewers than I had on my, my English days. I got a lot of new people in. I got a lot of people interested in my con content. And in the beginning, it was really, really fun. And I got to know new friends that I played video games with and so on. And I had a great time. But I have to say, as soon as uh, it started getting bigger, the worse it got. Because I got into a group of people watching my stream that I felt really, really, really pressured. And I didn't feel like I'm in my safe space anymore. So... Um, I, I build up my community right th through people or with people that are really, really um, open minded. We, we uh, accept every single person in our in our community, it doesn't matter which skin color, which religion, uh, whatever your favorite game is, you know, like where you're from, whatever, whatever it is, like as, as long as you you treat us nice, we're going to treat you nice. Right. That is like the um the direction of our community and obviously like every sexuality every gender yada 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 i just feel like you don't even need to say that anymore for me it's something so natural that everybody's yeah. welcome that i often forget to mention that kind of thing but just in case you don't know us that well yet everybody's welcome um and that was the first time on twitch that i felt like i was not in my safe space anymore so for how it, how it started for me, um, back in the day, I was playing Counter-Strike. And uh, for people that don't play Counter-Strike, it's an online multiplayer where, where you play as five people in a team against another team that has five people. So obviously, <coughs> if I would queue solo or duo or just with a, f a couple of friends, you cannot decide where your teammates, the random teammates that get put into your team are from, right? And sometimes there would be German Tuesdays where I couldn't have four pre-mates or where there was just not enough people to play with. So I was forced to either solo queue or just play with a few friends. And then obviously there would be people from all over the world in our team, which kind of forced us when we would not speak to each other, but obviously to the other team mates, because it's a team game. <laughs> um, we had to speak English. So we would do call outs in English while I still communicate with my chat in German and that's where it all started so um obviously in my normal streams where I talk English when there's somebody coming in asking something in German it was never a problem for the community for anybody that didn't understand it um that I would speak German in an English stream right mm -hmm. was never a problem and now that I have my German streams as soon as I would even just in a video game because I had to make my teammates understand what I'm doing I would call out there are two come and be. We're like, careful, there's one behind you. My chat would almost escalate. They would, mm -hmm. they would, they would be like, 
you cannot, you cannot talk English right now. You cannot call anything in English. Um, this is a German stream today. You're not allowed to say anything. And I got literally from this community, I got, I got pressure. Shit on. I got shit on. Yeah, for sure. I got, I got, yeah, they made me feel bad for giving information to my teammates. So that brought me in a position and it got worse and worse with every single week. Or even, let's say I had the German stream and somebody from the, the non-German speaking audience would come in and would be like, Hey, Julia, I just wanted to pop in. I know it's your German day, but I just wanted to wish you a beautiful day and we see each other again tomorrow on your English stream, right? Even if just something like mm. that would happen and I would be like, Hey, Matt, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. The people... They would escalate. They would, they would, full caps, tell me, Julia, you can't speak English today. We only have this German day. You can't do this. And literally, I think I did that for half a year. And after that, I felt so bad every day before, like every Monday, I knew, oh, no, it's more German Tuesday. Oh, no, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to have to be so careful what I say. And obviously also, or not obviously, but for me, it was also the, the, the maturity of people. I feel like mm. when I stream English, the people are usually more mature, like usually not everybody. Again, there's exceptions for everything, but there were so many rude people in German like the, the it, whenever i stream german like i don't know even if they just come in like hey Susa, hi pupian like they would come in and like give you nah. nicknames like hi sweetie how are you doing today like or like childish i don't know it was just i didn't feel it didn't feel right for me so after mm. half a year um i decided to stop and ever since i i have not i have not done german only streams anymore unless it was like for a char charity event or something like that yeah. No, that was that was like my the one big experience. Do you do you have any like it's specific like, experiences with like the German had, communities? Yeah, I had many and it's so funny because I could I could see I could literally document it the second I turn on my stream and I was trying that out because you can choose the language on yeah. your in your OBS for Twitch, right? So you could in the beginning I put German in because mm -hmm. also um, we're on the like we are in a German speaking country. Twitch um, locates you and mm -hmm. knows you're in a German speaking country. So it suggests you to other German speaking people or people who are living in these German speaking mm -hmm. countries. So, um, and the same with America, you like if you have English in or whatever. Um, so I had German as a language in um, my OBS settings, in my streaming. Uh, program settings but also had in my title English German stream so people knew uh, both languages are like welcome mm -hmm. to my stream um, and whenever I had German as a language you could tell you could look at the clock like on the clock the second I don't know five minutes later whenever I did that I had trolls in my chat every single time no. people who come in uh, just just being rude you know they they just insult you for no reason they oh they yeah just make jokes oh about yeah how you look or whatever like welcome to 2021 i don't care how you look as long as you're a cool person fuck off <laughs> exactly. and people are like in my in my experience and with my streams whenever i had a german as a language i always had at least one or two people in my chat that just came in to let me know they don't like me yeah and same same in every single possible way telling me and i was like i realized that and there was also like many moments where people were they actually were harassing me in the beginning because you're a small streamer they think like they can hop from stream to stream just insult people just make them feel bad for whatever um mm. Just because they don't like how you look, what you do, whatever. Um, or they just don't, aren't happy with their own lives. So they have to go jump in streams and make others, uh, other lives awful as well. So, um, and then I started trying out, that was also a reason why I swapped them. Because mm -hmm. I started trying out um, putting English in and do the yeah. same. Like I still talked a little bit like German and English. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I put English as a language in, the people who were insulting me 
didn't find my stream anymore yeah. because it was in English. And yeah. most of those people um, are too insecure to talk English like yeah. or insult me in English at least. So they didn't find me anymore. So that was the absolute, like the ultimate solution to my problem. <laughs> and then I tried that every now and then, like I put in uh, German again after mm -hmm. a few streams just to see mm -hmm. if I still have this problem. Still have this problem. I it's it wasn't my pro it was a problem of mine. But um, to, let's fr let's rephrase it. Um, I put in German again mm -hmm. just to see if people come into my stream again and insult me again. So I did that multiple times. And whenever I chose German, I got people who came in my chat and just insulted me for no reason. Uh. And then. At some point, I just decided to, you know what? I see the way to deal with you. And I don't need you in my life. And those people who are enjoying my stream don't need you either. So we just swapped to English. Exactly. And but, most of the people are fine with it. Yeah. and uh, But can I say something? Because I just mm -hmm. want to clarify. When we say the German speaking community we don't mean only the germans because as i said already like i can just exactly. speak for myself like german i have speaking. still 50 percent of my viewers are still german speaking mm -hmm. and also i don't really know how to phrase it but let's say um people that use german in twitch i don't, I don't even know how to phrase it correctly to be honest 100 mm -hmm. because we have so many German people in our chat that are not at all like this. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't matter who it is. If it's Jess, if it's if it's Bene, if it's Alex, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't I, matter uh, who it is. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like all the Austrians, obviously. Sazu, I mean he can be a little asshole as well, but no, you know what I mean? Like I yeah. I feel like the people that that are that that are have manners, they don't care if they speak German or English to you. If that yeah. makes sense. Like, again, I'm not saying that everybody that speaks English has better manners than people that have German. But just, like, in general, the community, it feels like as soon as you're, like, in this German-speaking um, space of Twitch, people feel like they have a right to treat you without respect. Yeah, yeah. Um, more likely than when you're yeah. in an English-speaking space why exactly i cannot say like if anybody of you has an idea what it could oh, be i can tell you <laughs> i mean no. we can i mean we can talk about it like um if you if we look about creators right who are the big creators um in the german community and who are the, the big creators in in the english speaking community like again yeah. i'm not saying like there's uh black sheeps in in both communities in every language like you're gonna find idiots everywhere yeah, but yeah. I think one of the problem is that especially it doesn't matter if it's just Twitch, if it if it's music, whatever, like I just feel like there's such a huge lack of respect. And again, like I'm I'm not talking about all the creators. Like there's so 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 many great creators that we have that create German um uh, 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 uh okay. content. I mean look at Annie, look at Tinkaleo, look at Becky, uh Look at who else we have, Rizzo. Like, there's so, so, so many cool Frodo, people as yeah. well. Frodo, yeah, obviously, obviously, Frek Stuve. Um, I mean, he does yeah. both as well. I mean, there's so, so many cool people. And don't get me wrong, I'm happy that we have those people. But then there are people we like... those people. We need those people, exactly. Yeah. But, but for me, personally, like, I don't feel safe. I don't feel yeah. like I'm in a safe space when I, I speak German on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, solely German, yeah. It's also, um, what's funny really is English, like if you produce or yeah, if you produce English content, if you mm -hmm. bring out English content, there's so many more people or the, the possibility of people seeing you and understanding you is so much higher, right? Yeah. And yet you, I get less insults and that's what's kind of fascinating me or like surprising me because it's just when I talk about like, German, the German community stuff, it's all, it has always been like in a bad um, context, how to call it, in a bad context, because mm -hmm. when I, when I streamed in German, it was always 
those streams where people came in and just insulted me for no reason mm. even though english speaking communities are so much bigger and there could be or there are so many more potential trolls out there yeah. but it's uh, somehow and i i can't I, I can't tell you why and I, I don't have these like the answer to this question but somehow i get less insults or yeah. at, like uh, barely any because people, of course, people are sometimes, oh, yeah, what are you doing there? Or, or whatever, like, because they don't like what you're doing. Okay, mm. good, move on, bye. But the real insults, like, how you look, what you do, like, they just insult you for no reason. I have one theory. I, I just, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry that I interrupt you. I just have mm -hmm. one theory that just came up in my head. Do you remember, like, like just, just, I'm just going to put the theory out there. So let's, mm -hmm. let's talk about school, right? When you're in school, before like the whole internet social media thing happened, right? So you were in school back then as well, right? So um, it's also the same topic with making friends online, right? So mm -hmm. when you go in school and you're like in a class with 30 people, let's say, you are limited to just 30 people to find somebody you like and become friends with. Because mm -hmm. sooner or later, you're going to have to find like a friend because you're going to be with those people like every mm -hmm. day for the next few years so you become friends with somebody now let's say there wouldn't have been 30 people but maybe there would have been a thousand people that you can choose from would you have gone to the same person again and become friends with that person probably not necessarily if there's somebody that you might have had more things in common so my my theory is right if you limit yourself to just having the german audience you're also limited to the type of content you can choose from, right? Mm. So that can be also like, okay, yeah, I'm going to watch that streamer. Am I 100% into what that person does? No. Do I have a better option to watch? Not really. So I might just watch this, right? Because there's nothing better. Like, again, I'm not saying mm. like now it, it evolved a lot. Like, again, like what Steffi and me are talking about is also like years ago, right? Um, oh. now we only stream in English or we're at least bilingual, right? So we don't really have that issues anymore, uh, those kind of yeah. issues anymore. So, yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is like, if you decide to stream in English, you open up so much more possibilities um, for, for people to actually find you and not only the German speaking ones. So it's easier, I think, to find people that have a higher um, similarity to uh, 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 personality traits, hobbies, mm -hmm. interests that you have that is easier to find people that are like like minded than you. So I think yeah. it, it, it might have something to do with this, but again, that is just like an idea that I'm throwing out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sense. It's, I don't know, it's just, I don't feel. I don't feel like the German community is where I am comfortable. Like, Same. it's, uh, let's start with the humor, guys. I'm sorry, but <laughs> your humor is ass. I, ca I cannot phrase it in any nicer way. <laughs> I mean, it's just also, I mean, maybe friend. it's also, maybe it's also our age. <laughs> because maybe, yeah, maybe. i mean it's the same like i i can't really like re relate to like this whole i don't even know what do the people say right now in german like i just noticed like the whole era thing a few years Bruder ago muss los. Bruder, muss los, i think that's I also know. like the teenage stuff and everything yeah yeah um i was when i was a teenager, i mean in german like, they have it as well with in, in with like the yeah. whole sheesh and i don't know what but yeah and um i don't know it's just i don't fit in that's about it i don't feel comfortable there um i don't mind talking austrian or german obviously yeah, me neither my, me neither yeah. my mother tongue but when it comes to the community um to the mindset of of most german-speaking communities it is not where i see myself where i feel myself like fitting in and i don't think people feel uh feel like i'm fitting in either you know what i mean like the yeah, viewers exactly. or the people it's like it's it's just not it's a two way street exactly it's, mm. a, it's a two way street exactly. and i mean and yeah yeah sorry no 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 go on sorry <laughs> um and the thing what we do is it's just so great i can only like think of all the the amazing people i have met 
just because I talk English. I yeah. literally know a person in every single country Same. of Europe, at least. I mean, think about so where amazing. our best friends are from. Think about you have like yeah. one of your best friends thought she's from the UK. You would have yeah. never, you've never met him there. Like I have yeah. dark, he's Italian. I have a bunch of people from Norway, Finland. M. Yeah, Finland. exactly. Finland. We have, we have some Dutch people. We got, we got people everywhere. And it's so cool to not limit yourself to like a language. If yeah. you have the yeah. possible, the possibility to not do it. But now yeah. let's, uh, we, 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 we talked a lot about the, the negative parts, but then again, we also have to acknowledge, and we've been talking about this a lot. Um, if as a person from the, from a German speaking region, you decide to not use that, you also put yourself on like a business level, um, on a negative side, I think. Yeah. Um, I, I can I can just talk uh, for, from my side. Like I know, for example, as an Austrian, right? Um, like I will barely get the chance to get any exposure or get put onto like a front page or something like that on Twitch nowadays. Because the problem is there's a German, Austrian, Swiss, German speaking front page. And then they they limit people or they don't really limit it like it's it's a little bit of a gray area right where they're like mm. yeah we put people on the german front page to speak german obviously because that is that is how how it works right um so i don't really get the chance to be like one of those creators that for example the, the german speaking twitch site wants to work with because yes you're from from austria or german or, and have all those german viewers but you only have 50 percent. you don't have the full hundred but then also if i'm like hey i'm an english speaking person can i be on the on the uk front page or can i be on the, on an american uh twitch front page no you can't because you're from from austria so you yeah. belong to the german speaking region so for me it's like this weird space where i don't especially on twitch where i don't really feel belong anywhere right yeah where i'm like yeah. in this 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 gray space where yeah okay i have I have my partner manager and he's amazing um but i feel like for example if i would me make the decision to create my content purely in german like i'm sure from a pit from from like a pure business standpoint i would have way more um possibilities of of viewers yeah like it doesn't matter reach viewers like yeah, i yeah, think yeah. i could be way bigger than that but i yeah. consciously make the decision to not do that because i don't feel safe i don't feel welcome i don't feel home in those yeah. areas and again that has nothing to do with other creators or something like that again i'm, I'm friends with a lot of german speaking creators uh, and i love them and i do stuff with them every now and then um in video games or at conventions or if we do um certain certain uh, sponsored stuff together or or charity things like i love them all but it's just like in the end i don't feel like you know it's kind of like in high school where you have this different groups of people and i just mm. feel like i'm like in this weird middle zone where you can't you, you don't belong to like the, the cool people but you also don't belong to the sporty people you don't yeah. belong to the to the artsy people so for me it was like in school so i just decided to to hang out with the people that that play magic cards <laughs> and <laughs> kind of get along with everybody but also are not really popular so that is kind of like the the way i feel like um yeah. i don't know how yeah. it's for you you feel the same, same. it's I, I just i don't belong there that's that's about it that's all i can say um as you said we both know a lot of German speaking content creators. We know a lot of German speaking like streamers, um, but it's just, I, I'm not home there. As you said, mm -hmm. you said it in a very beautiful way. It's just not our home and it's nothing against anyone else. It's just, we found our home somewhere else where we have so many more doors to open which yeah. is amazing but on the other side as julia already mentioned you're very limited when it also comes for example with partnership like to partnerships because mm. some people and in, in this in the german speaking like area um it's sometimes hard to work together with 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 brands mm -hmm. because they mainly want to promote the german speaking 
content in a German speaking area, right? Exactly. Because they have. I mean, just look at Instagram or Twitter or whatever. They always have the channel. So it doesn't matter which which brand you look at. They cater to a certain region. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like, okay, what, but who do you work with? It doesn't matter if it's Switch or not. So you're like, okay, if you have this, this German speaking uh, brand that you work with, like they are not going to be, because you have to think about money, right? So um, how it works in marketing, right? You have a certain audience that you're targeting. So let's say you're a brand and you target people from Germany, Austria, Switzerland, right? And you search for creators that are going to promote your brand. You're not necessarily going to go for that person that has only 50% of their audience there, yeah. right? Yeah. You would not, or most likely, you know, unless you're a brand that just, you know, works worldwide and you're confident enough that it's it's going to be good anyway, which my opinion is obviously that should be the way it is because if you're a brand that is working around the uh, over the whole globe right Mm -hmm. it should technically not make a difference but then again obviously how marketing works they have certain goals they need to reach um they have certain numbers to show at the end of the day and um if you can choose let's say you have somebody uh that has fifty thousand uh, followers or uh i don't know let's not talk of followers but uh i don't know uh unique viewers like a hundred thousand unique viewers uh in a month or whatever but only fifty thousand of them are austrian or german or swiss i mean it's only worth half of of what it would be if that person yeah. would be just creating a content in in german and that's also something let's say you're 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 an upcoming creator and you're not sure in which direction you want to go you also have to keep that in mind that even though you technically have more possibilities while talking english you also limit yourself potentially to some brands and how you can work with brands okay um so that's something that i i personally have been struggling with like i obviously learned how to uh, sell myself anyway (laughs) to Mm -hmm. to the brands and i i'm really confident confident in the content that i create um so i don't really have the those problems anymore um but yeah i think if you stick to your your mother tongue it's obviously something that can be really useful but on the other hand um we also have to say or that i also have to say if i work with international brands that are not limited to one region only that I want to promote in. If you have a lot of uh, German speaking people from the audience, it's really, really valuable to brands because those countries are uh, compared to other countries pretty rich. So they have a lot of money to spend on uh, products that they don't necessarily need, right? So on the other hand, obviously, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. if you if you can show them that you have a lot of people from Germany, but also from the UK, America, you know, those kind of classic countries where you know they're wealthy, um, mm-hmm. it can also be a, a good thing. So it's obviously always depending on also how you sell yourself. Yeah, um, exactly. And I would say, like, we're now in 50 minutes roughly in the recording. Um, I would say... To, to round it all off, I would like to talk with you about what kind of content are you consuming? In which languages? What creators? Um, what type of content? Are you a lot on Twitch? Are you more on YouTube? Are you more watching just shows because you have too much to do with social media during the day already? Um, I mainly watch Star Wars. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> besides that, um, since I... Since I have so many friends from all over the world, right? Um, I started, and as we talked in the beginning, we have everything dubbed, guys. We have everything in German, and most of the content is also very good in German. And I used to, for example, on Netflix, I used to watch a lot of stuff or everything in German. I still do sometimes because I I love the voices of, like, they, they chose for the actors. Um, mm-hmm. But since I have so many friends from everywhere, um, I started watching um, most of the stuff, if not almost everything in original language. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mainly, I only, I mainly watch and consume English um, content. Mm-hmm. Uh, beside my like few happy series episode uh, th- shows on Netflix, which when I fall asleep or go to bed, <laughs> I just put them on. It doesn't matter which language it is. It's just for for me to fall asleep. White with. noise. Um. Yeah. Exactly. Um. But beside that, 
everything in English. I mainly, like, I consume a lot. <sighs> it used to be more on Twitch. It used to be less on YouTube. So I'm kind of watching a few more things on YouTube now mm -hmm. since I do more on, like, create more content on YouTube as well. Um, and when it comes to Twitch, I mainly watch, I only watch English speaking uh, streams and they're either um, game wise like high skills or entertainment those are the mm -hmm. two things I enjoy the most and who are like your favorite streamers to watch on Twitch like if you would have you you top three you don't need to put me in there we all know that's obvi <laughs> obviously <laughs> <laughs> um, who else? I still love. I mean, Twitch. Tim is not on Twitch anymore. Tim yeah, is an amazing content creator. I, I, um, different question. Sorry that I, that, that I interrupt you again. But mm -hmm. now that Tim switched to YouTube, do you still watch him live on YouTube? I, I did two days ago. Yeah, you did because yeah. I don't see see the my thing as well. I love Tim, but I feel like YouTube is so weird with it's, finding live streams that i never like yeah. think about oh i need to check if tim is online right you need to so. get used to it it's a bit like it's still in development but if youtube keeps doing what they're doing they gonna take over twitch for sure mm. they just need to adjust a lot of things they're on that they're doing amazing and honestly um since i uh quit my affiliate uh contract mm -hmm. on twitch last year Uh, which is a different thing that's not we should talk about that as well like we have we have two yeah, sure. really different uh, uh point of views that i think that could be interesting yeah. for for uh future talks youtube mm -hmm. versus uh twitch for yeah. example um, so sorry to interrupt you so tim don't worry don't worry so yeah and it's like you need to get used to it and i st like i watched him two days ago yes he was playing warzone again mm -hmm. um 30k viewers there so he's yeah. still doing great um but on twitch Oh, have you seen the? Have you seen Tim in the in the trailer for the WWE uh, game? No. Oh my God! You need to watch it. You could actually even it. react to it. So it's the the new WWE game, right? The wrestling yeah. game, and they yeah. have so many celebrities in there, and it's literally Tim, and you just see MGK drumming, A like what? MGK is in there, and Tim just goes there. Yo, dude, keep it down, please. He basically oh tells MGK. God. To, to shut the fuck up and stop playing the drums. <laughs> oh my god, when I saw it, it's amazing. Uh, sorry, yeah, again, I interrupt um, you again. But to continue, um, mm -hmm. I watch a lot of Shiv, Shiv FPS. He's a very good Apex player. Mm -hmm. um, Yuki. Is <laughs> Why are you blushing, Steffi? <laughs> um, then... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I'm happy the Spotify viewers can't see me. Um, who else? I don't know. Um, I watch a lot of... I also... Hmm, who else do I watch? I watch you a lot. I watch Shif a lot. I watch Yuki. Choosy is also... I watch a lot of... I consume a lot of um, Apex content right now. Mm -hmm. I, wa I, I love watching um, Holly World, Girl. Uh, those are all, uh, all like content or streamers for Apex since I got into Apex last year in August, mm -hmm. I think. So I always... Um, when I'm into a game, I always look up for streamers that play that game so I can you play right either now, right? learn more mm -hmm. about it and maybe have the entertainment factor or just the pure skill factor where i can only learn something um and this is what i prefer like consuming mm -hmm. or either like either that or pure entertainment but also um depending always like always depending on the game i mainly look for what i'm interested in and uh, with the shitty discoverability on twitch it's barely impossible to find like new people you enjoy unless yeah, someone unless is you know them yeah, yeah saying, exactly yeah. so i got to know choosy which is an awesome insane apex player through yuki and okay the community is just so lovely and so handsome and everything and i was like dude this is this is so it's so cool to be there because they're all so nice and he's so nice and he's such a good player i can learn a lot and everything so this is how you get to know other streamers mm. um because it's very hard to find um yeah i agree with you 100%. new content uh you enjoy on twitch but that's also another topic so <laughs> yeah um basically a lot of apex streamers mm -hmm. yeah okay. and you my queen 
<laughs> Mark Queen. Uh, Mark Queen. To be honest, like the, when I actually like, so if I consume Twitch, is most of the time when I'm doing work on a PC. Mm -hmm. So I I uh, when I do my taxes or uh, I work on my emails or whatever, I always have a stream on my second monitor. Uh, my number one priority is always to put on friends. So yeah. I would probably mostly watch you, and Sazu. Sazu. Yeah, Sazu. exactly. Sazu. Yeah, I think seven you'd... p.m. most of the times, guys. <laughs> exactly. So Sazu and you is probably what I consume the most. Um, mm -hmm. If it comes to really, I just want to watch a stream and be entertained. I would say it's still Soda Pop in and Lyric mm -hmm. that that I personally like to watch a lot. Um, I used to watch a lot of Tim, but again, since he moved to YouTube, I just I can't be asked to like search mm. for the live stream. I don't even know how to do it, to be honest. And especially it with on his the left side. On the left side. Okay, I need to check yes, it out. Thank you. you. Need to Teach check. me. A red dot. Teach me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find that. I don't I didn't yeah. really pay any attention to that to be honest. Um so yeah, I used to watch Tim a lot. I watch his his highlights now on, on YouTube the most time. So I, I really enjoy like stream highlight videos. Um so when it comes to really just entertainment and not just white noise in the back, and I also have to say on Twitch, I always lurk. Oh, Nick and Milena. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I watch Nick and Milena a lot as well. And mm -hmm. uh, those two I watch a, a lot. They're also really, really good friends of mine. And um, yeah, those are, but that's more white noise for me, to be honest. And uh, because for me, it's mm -hmm. the thing, I don't know if it's the same for you as a streamer, but for me, as soon as I talk in the chat, I have to have conversations w with other people. So most of the time when I actually watch a stream, I'm a lurker because I just want to be there. Almost every stream. Yeah, like I cannot, uh. I cannot ask to be active in the chat most of the time because yeah. I know that once I start talking, I have to keep talking and I just want to enjoy the content. So most of the time also, I'm a lurker. Also, it's say. like when you stream eight hours, like five to eight hours a day, five days a week six days a week and then just want to chill um you don't want to have those there. yeah exactly. exactly it's nothing against anyone no not at all not I'm at all putting this on i'm watching this i'm enjoying it while working on something on my yeah. main so you guys probably I don't even know how much i i watch you because i most of the time <laughs> just have it on and i'm like <laughs> You know, I'm. I see you. So maybe for the people that are that are watching right now, let us know in the comments. Um, are you a lurker or are you an active chatter? And we appreciate both. Okay, just putting yeah. it out there. Yeah. We appreciate both uh, types of people. Uh, but yeah, I have to say honestly, when it comes to entertainment purposes, I have two main sources where I uh, consume my content. At the moment, or for the last two and a half years, I'm really, really into audiobooks. So, uh, and I also like to multitask. So I like to be as efficient as possible with my time I have mm -hmm. during the day. So if I clean, I always listen to an audiobook. If I take my dog for a walk and we're in the forest, I listen to audiobooks. Um, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos, to be honest. So most of the time, so for example, uh, I often don't really catch certain streams because again, like I, and again, I forgot to say, I consume all of my content in English. Doesn't matter if it's Netflix, YouTube videos, yeah. Twitch. I do not, like the only person that I really consumed content in German was Annie the Duck. Like mm -hmm. I really, 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 really enjoyed her videos. I enjoy her videos. Yeah. That's the only thing that I really follow uh, in German. But aside of that, everything really in, in English, to be honest. Um, so audiobooks a lot. Um, and highlight videos on Twitch. And if I just want to have something that calms me down in my anxiety, I watch like three hours of true crime documentaries, serial killer documentaries. I'm that kind of person, what should I say? I, I literally know everything about every single serial killer out there. Um, I know it's a little bit of a, of a weird thing, but I know nowadays it's like almost a meme that a lot of girls need to watch serial killer documentaries to fall asleep. Um, but can't watch a horror movie, and I'm one of them. Like if it's real horror, uh, real true crime stuff, I'm fine with it. I can sleep like a baby. If it's a horror movie, I can't watch it. It's weird. <laughs> Probably Fucked because a horror movies are like a lot of them are playing with your, uh, like what's it called, man? Um, 
not with your mind, but um, with your imagination. Psyche. I mean, the, psyche? Uh, with your psyche. Is it psyche? Psyche, I think so. I think it's just not like thrillers because maybe because you know the documentaries like they are true mm -hmm. and those it's predictable people, you know what's it's, happening yeah yeah and with the horror movies they play so much with your mind and you, you mean the, ima the imagination mm -hmm. like that you don't mm -hmm. really know and what's that, gonna that, happen yeah yeah it's more like they let Obviously. you paint a picture in your brain yeah yourself yeah i get that i get that probably but uh but yeah i think um that's that ends it up really well and also obviously like on on netflix i consume everything in english like uh for the people that don't know my boyfriend is french and uh we communicate in english with each other and we're together for eight years on valentine's day <laughs> and uh yeah anyway so we speak at home for eight years only english so i already feel like english is more my mother tongue than german like i sometimes mm. even struggle talking uh German, sadly, yeah. <laughs> which is which I think is in English most of the time. Same, same. It's when I when I go to bed and like I just resume my day or try to process what happened and try to like manifest the stuff I want, blah blah blah. Um, it's like I catch myself phrasing everything in English. Same. And then I'm same. like, okay, Steffi, well, is it? it's it's fine but why are we doing this right now <laughs> it's so funny it's the same for me though i have to say mm. like sometimes it switches back to german if i spend like a day with someone who speaks german to me so mm -hmm. when nito or sasso are here i like notice that my brain sometimes switches back in german mm -hmm. but for me it's the same like 95 percent of the time i think and do everything in english yeah like uh i'm i'm actually afraid that like i'm losing my vocab vocabulary like now yes, when it. i sometimes have meetings in german like i'm missing you cannot words. express yourself anymore. yeah i cannot mm -hmm. like i literally i tell people like please i swear i'm not stupid if I, if you allow yeah. me to talk english with you i i will sound more intelligent than when i when i yeah. speak uh, german but the problem is as well when i speak english because english is such a simple language and i tend to use the the simplest words ever i feel like i sound so dumb or well, not dumb <laughs> like i just sound like a really simple person while i feel on the inside i'm an intelligent person and now when i talk uh, when i talk when i talk german because i'm missing so many words and for the people that don't know the way you build a sentence uh in german and english is pretty much re reversed you like you put it in a different order the words uh, the verbs are always in a different place um and so you would think in english and then put the sentence in german or i at least in the yeah. order you would say the sentence in english which in german is not the correct way and then you sound yeah. like an idiot and that's what happens or a lot. Or you just mix up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or, or you you're just like... the words. Exactly. Or you're like you a full chat. The... Yeah, you sound mm -hmm. like a chat. Because you just yeah. freaking put English words. Mm -hmm. uh, every second word is like an English, English yeah. thing. And it's not because we want to be cool. It's just because we don't, we don't know, know the German word at, the, at that time, in that situation, in that moment. Exactly. The English word is here. And we. I swear to you, I sometimes don't... I know the meaning, I know the English word, but I forget the German yeah. word for it. You know what's the hardest thing is? If I want to say thank you to somebody, if I want to tell somebody, hey, I really appreciate what you just did to me. Yeah. I never know how to phrase that in German anywhere. I'm, I'm like, hey, thank you. Uh, uh, but how do you say I appreciate you for it? Like, I don't, rem I, I, that's where I always like brain fart. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I danke dir. Yeah. Is hat bedeutet mir so viel. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's a diff. It, it feels so different. I don't know why. It's not. It doesn't have the same weight. Yeah, exactly. Somehow. It's somehow the same. It doesn't have. It's the same for me. I don't know if it's for you the same, but swearing. Like in German, I barely swear. Like I would never say fuck in German. Uh, and think about I you say do fuck in German, but I say fuck like. Yeah, 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 exactly, it. exactly. But would say you say, stuff. I would never. Like, I call I somebody an asshole, maybe in German, but I would never call somebody, like, a cunt, an asshole. Uh, like, like, you know, I would never say fuck ten times yeah. in a sentence. Ficking fuck, ficky, ficky, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. I would never, I never. And in English, every second word is yeah. fuck. 
Fuck. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. So that is, that is one thing that I'm a little bit uh, annoyed by myself because I, I realize that sometimes when we spend time with, um, you know, James. Uh, so mm-hmm. for the people that don't know, it's a, it's a real friend of mine from the UK. So it's, it's not really a gamer. So I think when you're with gamers, it's pretty common that people swear a lot and say a lot of fucking content. I don't know what. Um, but he's he, he's a really posh sounding person. Uh, he's from Leeds. And uh, I remember like the first times we met and he was like, oh, yeah, your English is good. And then like I started saying fuck every second time. And then like every time I would say fuck, he would see him like cringe up a little bit. I was, and, I would, and then I realized like imagine you're having a conversation in German and somebody would say something like, I don't know, Fotze or something. Or the whole, time, yeah. the whole time I would be like, oh my God, what an immature, stupid person. And that's I the one thing I kind of want to get out of my vocabulary a little bit. Yeah, and I think that so is hard. because it is not our main language. Exactly. So, so it doesn't it have the same weight. Cringe. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have the same weight. But on the other hand, um, and that's what I said yesterday as well on stream, I want to re like reprogram my brain because I choose in german i choose very wisely how to phrase something mm-hmm. i barely use hate for something i barely ever say in german i hate this or that because hate has a very 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 strong meaning mm-hmm. and for me um hate is a very strong feeling and i do not hate a lot i dislike mm-hmm. a lot i despise a lot but i do not hate everything and mm-hmm. it's so much easier to say like in english i hate I love because they don't have these those many in betweens. Like yeah. for example, they don't have "Ich hab dich lieb" is a German like saying for "I like you," but more we have something like, like family like, way. Exactly. So we have like so in English, you only have the "I like you" and "I love you," I love, exactly. and like in 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 German, we have like three things you can say yeah. like in between stages. You know, yeah. like imagine being in a relationship and you're like really in love with a person but you don't love them yet if that makes sense so it's easier to express that in 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 german Mm -hmm. so yeah i i get that for sure yeah and that's what i want to like still work on myself when i speak english because i say it so often i say so often i hate this i hate that even though it's not that i hate it i just dislike it in this moment Mm -hmm. and it's just be careful what how to phrase how you word or which words you use for some for 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 certain things you want to say um it's programmed in my mind for my like mother tongue but i still need to program this for english because yeah. it's so easy to say i hate i love Same. because they don't have the in between so i need to make myself like force myself to say more, dude i be really more aware this. yeah yeah exactly exactly that's the see we have something that we both want to work on like i want to swear less and like try to sound a little bit more uh how do i say that (laughs) mature no i don't know a a little bit wiser like i don't want to like i mean wise is the wrong word again but i want to sound like i i i put more thought into the things i say instead of just yeah exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah please please um yeah but anyway i think that was a really really nice uh talk that we had today again mm-hmm. and i hope everybody uh enjoyed it and we hope that nobody really feels offended maybe some of you can relate uh to the issues maybe not in in german but let's say um your mother tongue is something else and you have similar uh, experiences with the community of your mother tongue that is not English. Um, I and I'm sure Steffi as well. We would be super uh, interested in hear in hearing your stories and your yes, uh, experiences. Sir. Maybe you also experienced the exact opposite. Maybe you experienced a lot of toxicity in an English uh, environment, but feel more home in uh, your mother tongue environment. Um, so yeah, we would love to hear what you got to say. Again, if you're listening on Spotify, we're also uh, or any other uh, any other podcast uh, platform. We would love to have a little exchange with you. Uh, you can find us on all social medias as Derps and Burps. And uh, if you want to watch us talk live about that, if you want to see uh, Steffi blushing up when she's talking about Yuki, um, you can <laughs> you can Not find us on one. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Not the only one. <laughs> We, I, I can just hide it Stop better. Stop it. <laughs> 
But anyway, yeah, don't forget, uh, leave us some comments. Let us know. Steph is just <laughs> falling out of her chair. <laughs> She's gone. We lost her. I'm sorry for exposing you. <laughs> Steffi fell off the chair. Okay, you, you got it. You got to watch. I'm, I'm back. I'm coming. Anyway, uh, so thank you so much. I hope you had a good time. Um, as usual, please leave us comments what topics you would like us to talk about. Was there any topic that we kind of touched and you're like, damn, I wish you guys would have gone deeper in this one. Let us know. Uh, we love you all. Maybe Steffi wants to say something at the end. Some kisses. Uh, if you're Asian and British, feel free to contact <laughs> <laughs> my social media. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, very, I'm very into julia as well just uh, no, yeah no, it's I all your fault anything to add to this it's, it's, we're yeah done. we're done we're done it's over mm -hmm. take us out um but anyway thank you so much for listening we see each other or hear each other depending where you listen to us uh next week again on monday have a beautiful rest of your day we love you bye bye <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Derps and Burps podcast. If you enjoyed it, make sure to follow us on Spotify, YouTube, Twitter or Instagram at Derps and Burps. See you online.